I'm Rob Fingerson, Principal Engineer with Holdridge & Cull here in the Nevada City office. And for the last couple of years, I've been doing quite a bit of work on solar or photovoltaic development projects, in, mostly in Southern California, Central Oregon, Arizona. And as part of that, we've been pro providing value engineering services to our clients, um, trying to save some significant construction costs. And one of the things I want to talk about today is some of the pile load testing we've been doing to facilitate our pile designs and alternative foundations for the sites. You know, traditionally, with a normal geotechnical investigation, you would be drilling borings, collecting soil samples, running a myriad of lab tests on those samples, and then from the lab results, you'd come up with design criteria and then base your foundation designs on those lab tests. And it's all very well and good, but what we found is on these photovoltaic sites, the goal really is, you know, since we don't have human or, or inhabited structures, we're just building racks to support photovoltaic panels. The idea was that if we designed a little closer to the real soil conditions, so instead of being a degree removed from reality by virtue of the lab testing, if we just installed test piles at the sites and began pulling on those piles and making accurate measurements, pushing, pulling, lifting out of the ground, see what we really have, that we might be able to come up with a more refined design and make sure that we weren't putting more steel on the ground than we really needed to. So the goal of it is to come up with a much more inexpensive foundation. So basically all we're doing is installing piles in the ground. Let's see how I'll draw, that. draw this. We'll pull the pile out of the ground and we apply a known load, we'll put a thousand pounds on it, and we'll measure how much it moves. Um, and then we'll, we'll apply lateral loads, and we'll measure how much the pile moves laterally. And we'll do this in a series of loading events. We'll, we'll go ahead and put a, our design load on the pile, remove it, repeat that under cyclical loading, and just gather as much data as we can um, on the performance of that test pile with this information, we can come up with a soil pile interaction model and using some of our computer tools, start evaluating not only different pile embedment depths for the design loads, but also start looking at different pile systems. Um, we might just have a steel pile embed in the ground. We might have this thing encased in concrete to a certain depth. We'll look at different, different foundation systems, different pile embedment depths and be able to provide to our client a complete range of results for their design loads as to how much deflection they should expect to see. And on a typical project, large scale photovoltaic, we might have 50,000 to 70,000 piles put in the ground as part of the installation. So if we can save a couple of feet of embedment on a pile that's just not necessary, uh, it would make a tremendous difference to the project.